have feelings for you, Adam. <laughs> a man who I have known practically my whole life, who I have loved and lived with and fought with, who I have told a thousand times how I feel. Mm. And yet you have managed to find some new and creative way every time to ruin things. Ruin things? How do I ruin things? You know exactly what you do. Why, by t twisting myself into a knot, trying to please you, by, by, by disregarding my own instincts, playing by your rules? Oh, that is not true. You play by your rules, the Adam Chandler rules, which I, I, I believe go uh, divide and conquer, burn and pillage, and take no prisoners. What? Am I really that heartless? You, know, you, 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 you just take whatever you want. You take whatever you want, and then you ask questions later. Oh, yeah. No, aren't you, aren't you confusing me with Ivan the Impaler? Your hero? <laughs> Used to be, but not anymore. No, sir. In the past, yes, perhaps my ethics were not 100% honorable, and my integrity was somewhat open to question. Perhaps in the past. But I'm different. I've changed now. I'm the new, improved, softer, gentler Ivan the Impaler, sort of Ivan the Impatient. We almost made it work, Brooke. It was working. You said you needed more space. I gave you more space. And what did you fill it with? Pierce Riley. You know, you compromised in name only, don't you? You never stopped hounding me. You followed me. You spied on me. I talk about selective yes. memory. What? You don't want to love a woman. What you want to do is own her. That's not true. Oh. I am a neo-traditionalist. I... If I love a woman, I want to be with her. I want to, to shower her with roses and diamonds. All you wanted was a washing machine for the shelter. Oh, yes. I guess I will just never live up to your expectations. No, you're will frightened. I? You're afraid, Brooke. That's it. You've been burned once or twice, and so you were putting up walls. Your relationships have become negotiated settlements. Everything's settled in advance. No surprises. Well, let me tell you something. I have a newsflash for you, Brooke. Life just doesn't work that way. You have to take risks to make gains. Are you calling me a coward? I'm calling you alone. Lonely and unfulfilled. Oh, because I don't have a man in my life? Because I am not joined at the hip in some lockstep with some arrogant, testosterone-overloaded dictator? I am so... A Oh, insulted! Well, you're skirting the real issue, my dear. It's fear, broken heart, broken dreams. You've decided to retreat, to, to be an onlooker instead of playing. Oh, listen to you. Listen to you. Mr. Neo-traditionalist who is going to marry a woman he doesn't love, who doesn't love him. I'm sorry if that was... Below the belt, and I guess I should apologize. No, no, no. It's, it's, it's quite understandable. You're right on target as usual. I don't love Liza. Sometimes I don't even like her. <clears throat> Why marry her then? Why, Adam? You don't know. You honestly don't know. And if you want me to apologize, I will. Brooke, I'm sorry. Brooke, listen to me. No, 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 no. You wanted to know the truth about why I'm marrying Liza, remember? Well, here it is, plain and simple. Because I can't have you. Frankly, Adam, I don't want to hear it. Oh, why? Because uh, hearing it out loud is a little bit scary, Brooke. You want the truth. It is the truth. You live for truth. You pursue it, you print it, you protect people's right to read it. Well, this is the truth. I don't want to live my life alone. I want to have a woman to share my home and my life and my bed. I said I don't want to hear it. Well, you're going to hear it anyway, like it or not. Liza is an attractive woman. She's fun to talk to, easy to talk to. She's charming, she's clever, she's smart. Not as smart as you, but I really do have a good time talking with her. She's witty, never fails to send the ball right back into my court, sometimes with surprising wallop. Not as hard as yours, but impressive. The only problem is, as you so sagely pointed out, I don't happen to love her. 
The problem is I've loved only one woman in my life, and I've loved her since the first Stop moment Stop it! Brooke, don't let fear run your life. Admit it. You want me. Just as much as I want you. on the back you just you never cease to amaze me <laughs> isn't that nice some things never change listen what? you just listen before you start patting yourself on the back you just remember one thing this conversation is not about us mm. it is about you marrying liza yeah plum for god oh, just uh, say the word bro oh. <gasps> maybe you should ask yourself one thing is it really in your best interest to marry a woman who doesn't even pretend to be interested in anything except your money and your power and your influence, that there isn't even any shred of love involved in this? Well, marriage isn't always about two souls fused together with passion. Sometimes it can be just a merger of common goals, common interests. You will go ahead with this, won't you? All the cards are in your hand, Brooke. Say the word, and lies is history. But don't ask me to live my life all alone, sleeping every night in that big, cold, empty bedroom, with only my memories to keep me warm. <laughs> you know how to get to me, don't you? No. Tell me the secret, and uh, I'll do it all the time. You're only irresistible when you're honest. Well, then I will always be honest. 24 hours a day, 12 months a year into the next millennium. And they'll call me Honest Adam, defender of the truth. From this moment, I love you. I want you. What do you say? How about a whole new beginning? Fresh slate. Brand new start. Mm -hmm. What's your answer? You know what scares me the most? The fact that considering everything you two have been through together, you can't seem to live without him. I can't live with him. I mean, that's the problem. You, you've been in the same room with Adam and me. He takes up more than his share of the oxygen, and I can't breathe. I can't marry him. I can't even spend the same night with him in his house. Then why? Why? I don't know. It's, it's the same thing that, that happens for you and Liza. There's something there. There's a connection. I don't know. I don't know, but I know that, you know, it... I hate the thought of him marrying Liza as much as you hate it, believe me. Do you love him? Yes. I do. There is your better half. I thought I was looking at her. Poor Liza, home all alone, weeping over 14 useless crystal bowls and wondering where the magic went. Have you been looking forward to this moment? Did I invite you in? I thought you were going to stop the wedding, Brooke. Oh, well, I know you'd like to think that I set you up, Adam, but actually I have better things to do with my time. Well, I humiliated myself in front of my family and my friends. Actually, I think it was a lovely day. Humiliation would have been someone standing up and saying, stop the wedding. We belong together. I've tried everything to make you see that. Everything? Except honesty. <laughs> when I kissed you in your office, I never meant anything more in my life. Didn't I respond? But you didn't tell me what I needed to hear. No, oh, so you just continued to plan this fraudulent wedding. I really thought you'd come through for us. Well, Liza is Mrs. Adam Chandler now, so just deal with no, it. No, she's not Mrs. Adam Chandler, not for long. You know, I... I despise what you tried to make me do. I tried to make you get off the fence. By casting me in some ego-massaging fantasy for everybody to see? You needed a soul-searching wake-up call, would, Brooke. Why would I do that? Why would 
I act the shameless pining ex, what would be my motivation? Love. <laughs> this is so rich. You know, you know, if, if you want make-believe, why don't you go and play house with Liza? Have an interesting life. I am out of it, permanently. You have. That morning that rumpled Liza took that victory lap around your living room, staged. Liza just wanted to skewer Tad. We, we, we weren't expecting you. It was... It was just dumb luck. <laughs> I mean, it was unfortunate. The whole thing's been unfortunate. Yeah, yeah. What about that Treckley marriage proposal on the cutting edge? Whose idea was that? I wanted to puff up a week show. By that point, it had nothing to do with you and Tad. I was at the studio, Adam. That was a coincidence. I was trying to throw Liza off her game. She, she was upping the stakes. I, I, I stood to lose a lot of money, a lot of you property. Know what? The game was over when you lost your sanity. I couldn't cut my losses, Brooke. I had to hold on for the vic victory. <laughs> really, really, really? Well, where are the spoils of victory now, Adam? Is it not over yet? Just don't waste anybody else's time, would you please? Your brother, Stuart, spent hours bemoaning this wedding. You know that? My poor brother wants you back just as badly as I do. Did he want me back enough to, to push forward a plan to thwart you and Liza? When he went it out, I didn't argue. No, you didn't. You took his place. That's what a great guy you are. You're so generous, aren't you? All right, go on. Just, just beat up on me. I'm no, just angry at myself because I am the one that walked through almost every door of this fun house. Your part of you is enjoying you this. Know, you know, you, you are diabolical. All those warnings about lies, all those thinly veiled entreaties, you, your imagination worked just as hard as mine did. I invited this. Yes, you did. Well, why can't I love you without going beyond the bend? I'll tell you why. Because you and I egg each other on. That's why. Because I should be able to love you without, without losing my mind. But I need a little cooperation, Brooke. Come on now. Just, just, if we work together, we can have it all. We don't. I'll apologize to Stuart. And I'll send Liza to a different market. Why punish Liza? Why not? <laughs> okay, it'll be a bigger market, a better market. You know, you're I'm... a disgrace. I mean, I've been without you too long, baby. All that anger and frustration is festering. You don't me. love me. You oh. don't. You, you hate me. It no. wasn't enough to reclaim no. me. No, it wasn't. You wanted to make a laughing stock of me in front of no, everybody. No, no, no. It was like a mirage in the desert. Time out of time. Our eyes met as I walked down the aisle, and you rise out of your seat, and you never say a word. And the music never started. And the minister never opened her book, and we made a dash for it together. I had two seats reserved on the Concord. It was going to be so beautiful. Oh, you are so arrogant. You are. You are. Right, 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 right. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It was... Maybe it was a little uh, preposterous and delusional. <laughs> Look, we don't have any children. We have no ties. We're clear. We are, all right? We can forget about each other. We can... We can stop. I can't live without you. I know one thing above all else. I love you. We are, all right? We can forget about each other. We can... We can stop. I can't live without you. I know one thing above all else. I love you, and you love me. I have loved you. You love me right now. No, you are delusional. No, no. No, I'm not. You look at me and tell me, without any reservation, that you don't love me. Say it. A 
love you. I will not love you. No, 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 no. Have you heard one word that I've said? Yes, yes! Every accusation, every protest. I'm tired, I'm exhausted. Well, fine, we'll take a little time. What, to what? To, to, so we can rest up for, for another takeover? What are you gonna do? How are you gonna try and reacquire me the next time? Oh, you're not a possession to me. You have shown comp companies you've liquidated more respect than you have shown me. I'm gonna say something to you. For the last time. No, 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 no. We have a lot no, of life left. No, in... no, it's over. No, no, you don't. No, remember. it's going... over. Brooke. We're good. We're good. For good this time. You know, I don't see you. I see a zombie. I see some a zombie going through the motions. How do you feel? How do you feel? I'm telling you how I feel. And like you, I can't, I can't lie. I can be everything you deserve. Adam, I was out of reach before you barreled through the door. I... I want to tell you something. I want to tell you what I told... what I told Stuart. Oh, Stuart has written all over this. Hang his hide. You know what? If I were you, believe me, I would watch your back. Stuart is not my... No, I'm talking about Liza. Liza sold you out, Adam. What are you talking about? I'm talking about that last visit from Stuart. The more I went over it, the more contrived I thought it was. And then Liza confirmed that you had impersonated him. You asked her? I didn't have to ask her. She's working an angle. Adam, I think you've finally met your match. Over. 